another edition of Cooking with Cal. What are we making today? Chicken piccata. Chicken piccata. Back when you were three years old, okay, we used to record these videos where you would tell people what you were eating. And this was one of my favorites from back then. Hey, Cal, what's for dinner? Chicken piccata. What is that? Lulu, carrots, and chicken. <laughs> Capers. Is there garlic in there? Yeah, but I take them all off. So now we're gonna tell people how to make the recipe. Yeah. Okay? All right, first things first, we're gonna season up the flour that we're gonna dip our chicken hey, in, okay? Mommy, Come on. I dip this in. Now we're gonna use granulated garlic. Sprinkle a whole bunch of this. We wanna season this up nice, right? Because ah. it's just boring flour. Put a lot of salt in here. How okay. much salt? Yeah, about that much. Not too much better. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot. It's okay. Okay, stir this gently. <laughs> Is that garlic powder again? Pepper, pepper. Again. I'll take the floor. I'll put this in. Yes. And now, swoosh the flour over. I'll bury you so you can't get out. So don't do that. Scoop! We're gonna cook that in a second, but before we do that. Garlic? Yes. Yeah! Good job. Let's do the I'm lemon first, okay? Hiya. Squeeze! Okay. Huh? We just don't want the juice, we just want the capers. Wow, this is gonna take a long time. <laughs> Five capers. <laughs> you have to do all of them. I want like half the jar. Aww. Now we're gonna cook the chicken, okay? We're gonna do a couple good gloves of olive oil here. Wow. Oh, I like that. It's not splashing. Oh, it's gonna like pop. All right, so our chicken's all cooked. We're gonna add a little bit more olive oil. Well, let's do this first. Burn. I can't have one. I can't have some of those. My lemon juice. It adds a nice little tang. Now you can add your chicken broth. I'm not going to do it all, though. Mm, okay. This pasta water is always good in sauces. All right, final touch. But, uh, Can I go? Give him a flip? No, now we're gonna taste it. You ready? Mmm, this is like really tasty dinner. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, that's a tasty dinner. <laughs> For these recipes and more, head to today.com slash Oh, so adorable. Oh. He still has the same catchphrase. That's a little tasty character. dinner. That's a tasty dinner. So this I is really, yummy. Thank you. I realized when I posted this three years ago, two or three years ago, that I never gave the recipe for it. So now we finally got to make it together. This is really good. I, honestly, I really love the noodles. Well, thank you. Like the flavor. It's the sauce. It's the lemon. Everything. Way to go, Cal. Yeah, I mean, well, this is a win. Guys. Welcome back to the third hour of today. We have been talking about many of the challenges, making back to school tougher than ever this year, but dinner should not be one of them. You've got a little something on your collar. I'm not, it's not food. I'm not <laughs> bleeding from my neck. It's a science experiment, everybody. Don't worry. Well, here to share easy recipes that are perfect for a weeknight meal, executive chef and owner of Pig Beach in Brooklyn, and our good friend Matt Abdu is here with us this morning. Good, good to morning. See you, Great to see you guys as always. Thank you so much I've for having me. I've been smelling the food all morning. I know we're going to eat well when well, you're here. We're so. making one of my all-time favorite things to cook and eat the chicken cutlet. It is Ooh. super simple to do. Anyone can make it. And you ready to get started? Let's do it. All right. So first thing we're starting off with is some very thinly cut chicken breasts. You can either buy them at the grocery store already cut, or you can buy whole chicken breasts and just sort of slice them, butterfly them open. What I like to do is kind of pound them out a little bit, get them as thin as you possibly can. Okay. Standard breading procedure. Sounds fancy, but all it is is flour, eggs, and breadcrumbs. To make ours a little bit more exciting to the egg, we're going to add a little bit of chopped parsley. can be fresh or dried. Okay. This is my secret. I love adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese nice. to the eggs. So you and do it to the egg and not to the breadcrumb. Correct. Well, you can also use seasoned breadcrumbs, too, if you want. Uh, that's certainly a great way to go. And a little bit of garlic powder. So we're just okay. going to mix all this together, scramble okay. it up. 
So what's your squish. secret? When I'm breading chicken, I get it like never these sticks, blobs. Right? Yes. I yeah. get these blobs so of like that's a very That's on my a fingers. very, very important thing. So Dylan, what I think is the most important thing whenever you're doing these chicken cutlets at home, because lots of times the things that happen, once you go in the egg, you find that the egg sort of falls off. Yes. And then when you go to put in the breadcrumbs, you get all these bare spots. Yes. This is the trick, guys. Let the chicken, flour chicken, sit in the egg for 30 seconds so that the flour oh, absorbs the egg. Okay. Once it's fully absorbed, it's not going to fall off. Okay. And so then from there, it. from there, we're going to go into the breadcrumbs. You're going to really pack the breadcrumbs in nice and tight until they're perfectly coated and breaded, just as we have here. You can see how nice oh, and thin they perfect. are. We're going to heat up a large skillet with oil. But what temperature is the question? Because three, I always mess that up. To 325 to 350 degrees. Now, ah. the best way of telling that is really just get a digital instrument thermometer and check the temperature of the oil so that when you put the cutlets in, they should sizzle and bubble. If it's not sizzling and bubbling, the oil's not hot enough. So we're going to wait till <laughs> that gets a little bit hotter. Okay. And then you're going to get these gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful. chicken cutlets that oh, are nice and crispy, amazing. golden brown. Finish with a little Malden salt, and they're I ready just, to munch. I just do. I could eat these like candy. Oh, I mean, favorite. I could just snack on this. Grown all up, long. mom, love you, mom. She'd make the chicken cutlets for us. You'd either leave them on the countertop, you put them in the fridge, you come home, you just eat them like yeah, whenever. They don't have to be warm. Late like, night this snack. Is delicious. So what do you have here? Buffalo sauce. So one of the greatest things about chicken cutlets is you can do so many amazing things with them, right? So what I have in here, I'm from upstate New York. I ate a lot of buffalo stuff in my growing up in my youth. <laughs> so this is a really simple, super simple uh, buffalo sauce. It's your favorite hot sauce. A little bit of Worcestershire, a little bit of garlic, oh. and some butter. You just warm it all together, and we're going to take some chicken cutlets, whether they're fresh, cold, out of the refrigerator, or the leftovers that you have. We're going to dump all that beautiful buffalo sauce all oh, over the I chicken cutlets. Can't ever go wrong with that, right? We'll mix up. Give it a good old mix, and then we're going to assemble. I love wraps. I think wraps are a great way. I've been trying to be more mindful about things I've been eating. Wraps are a better alternative to using bread. So I love these wraps. We're going to take a big couple spoonfuls of this buffalo chicken. I mean, look how good that looks, oh, right? That's amazing. You can just eat this as it is. I know. Just like that, we're gonna put a couple spoonfuls of there. And to finish the wrap, I'm gonna add some chopped tomatoes, some buffalo or blue cheese, shredded lettuce, and a little bit of blue cheese dressing. Oh, and we're just awesome. gonna layer up our wrap, roll it up. Oh yeah, there you go. And so if you are uber carb conscious, Matt, so this is the finished product, this is what Correct. it looks like. That's what it looks like, just roll it up and then you're ready to dive on in and oh, give it a awesome. eat. But you can also do this as a salad or there's a salad do, type version yes. of this? Yes, so let's just keep moving the chicken cutlet along. Why not use leftover chicken cutlets to make a delicious Cobb salad, yes. right? Uh, if I'm gonna eat a salad, I want the salad to be piled with all my favorite things that I love to eat in addition to it. But what's gonna make it special is we're gonna make this delicious Dijon shallot vinaigrette that's super okay. simple. So what's in, here? in our bowl, we have a little bit of Dijon mustard, some honey, you gotta have a little bit of sweetness okay. to offset the tartness, and water. We're just gonna whisk that up, add in some sherry vinegar, some chopped okay. shallots, some fresh chopped parsley, and we're just gonna whisk in olive oil, about a, uh, probably a cup or so, okay. until this kind of comes together and make a beautiful vinaigrette. And you pour that right on the lettuce. And then that's gonna go right onto the lettuce. We're okay. gonna give the lettuce a toss. It's already dressed with the dressing. That's gonna go into our bowl. And what do you like putting in a cob salad? Uh, well, traditionally, it's eggs, it's bacon, it's cherry tomatoes, it's onions, it's some sort of crumbled cheese, whether that's gorgonzola or feta. Oh. And then usually there's some sort of protein on it, right? Like roasted chicken or ham or something like that. That looks amazing. I love doing the chicken cutlets. And here you go, Dilly. Thank you so much. Have a little snack to eat oh up. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were gonna give me that one. There, here you go, <laughs> that's what I should have done. That would've been a much better visual but <laughs> it's a super easy thing you can make the chicken cutlets on monday then you can have buffalo wraps the next day cob salad the day it. after Matt, and they're just great to snack on thank you Thanks, so Matt. much we oh always love your thank food you for and for these to see you guys. recipes head to today.com slash food we are back with our series today table sponsored by walmart and this morning we have a creative way to use an item you probably already have in your pantry so here to show us how is kevin curry chef and founder of fit and by the way, to cook along with us, all you have to do is scan that QR code and order all the ingredients with just one click. It's very easy. Simply select add ingredients to cart and then you schedule that pickup or delivery. Could not be easier. Mm -hmm. Chef, thanks for coming back. Yes, sir. What thanks are we making this morning? We are making chicken and rice, but with a twist. We're going to okay. use tea to infuse the rice and then we're going to use tarragon to give the chicken a much more like a rich flavor. All so right. We have chicken thighs here because those are a lot more fun than chicken breasts. Yep. Yes. But if you're watching, you know, you some of the use, fat, yeah. you can use chicken breast, too. It's Does adding fun. a lot of flavor in this Ed. form prevent you from having to use a lot of fat and other foods? Correct, correct. Um, and so that's the main thing. So this is chopped 
chopped tarragon, and okay. that's fresh. You can also buy it dried. It's it's probably a little bit cheaper. Okay. And then add in a little bit of oil. What kind of oil we got? This here? is some olive oil. Oh, olive oil, okay. And then we're gonna get our hands dirty. I'm gonna put in the pepper. Once you give a little pinch of salt, do your little pinch. salt bay action there. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> watch out, watch out, y'all. Okay, we're gonna mix that together, and then and do I use this? It? Yes, and then. Lemon zesty. Can you zest? Ooh, you come on, now. Come that? on, man. You know what I'm Oh, saying. okay. I, I, am, I am actually impressed. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, look at you. Okay. My yes. first rodeo that chef. That is perfect. And you're going to let this marinate overnight or at least 20 minutes, okay? okay. He doesn't it's going to look like this. All right, I'm going to have you go ahead and put in the chicken. Yes, sir. Now, Put it with the top side down first. This is a little bit of avocado Why is that? oil because we want to get oh, a nice color oil. on there mm. first. Now, if you're using something that's not a non-stick, the, the most important thing is to let the chicken lift off of the skillet. Oh, don't Sometimes when you pick it up, yeah, it's all like pulling it apart. It so sticks. It's not it's ready yet. It wasn't ready to okay. flip. The, okay. the skillet will tell you when to flip. Okay. The skillet will tell all right. you. Yes. All right. So well, I'm going to put, cooking. Dylan, you can um, cut up some of the zucchini so now. I know like that, that you can okay. cook because I've seen you with cow. All right. So <laughs> That's all, all right. cow, then. So this is zucchini, and you can also use squash. You know, we're heading into the fall, so use, mm -hmm. like, what you like. Okay. And then, you know, some mushrooms. Chop up some onion, and you're going to put everything here on this um, tray. And we're okay. going to roast okay. the vegetables. In the mm. oven? Yes, in the oven. Or you can also put them into your air fryer. Huh? We're going to add a little bit of, of like, Italian seasoning, okay. or you can use some dried yeah, thyme or oregano. Italian seasoning. Add a little bit of, um, you know, okay. olive oil. Roast oh, you do this add in olive the oil. oven. Yes, yes too. Okay. roast this in the oven. Now, okay. For the fun part, yes. this is some lemon herbal tea that is Ooh. boiling here. We're going to add in some jasmine rice, which is mm -hmm. already oh. super, super fragrant. Why don't you go ahead? I'm going to go so ahead. So you boil the tea yes. and then put the rice in, in yes. that water. Yes, oh. just like so that. So it it. So yes. you can use any kind of tea you'd like? Yes. In fact, You've if, got a different technique if you want to. Yeah, because it actually comes out this way. You see that? Yeah, I see that. That's, okay. Yeah, that's, <laughs> right, that's so a pro there you tip. Go. That's but, why no, you're but the that, pro. Hey, it's, but, but yours was good, too. You can even Thank do you. hibiscus tea and make <laughs> oh. your tea red. Oh. So like a pink oh. rice. I'm sorry, a pink rice. I want to try All right, so it comes out like this. Now, this is my thing. I like to just to add it right here oh, to, nice. to oh, you the put it on tray. The tray? All the juices. Yeah, let, mm -hmm. that's right. You already know. You already okay. know what I'm talking okay. about. Then mix it all right together, and okay. then you plate this bad boy. Thanks, sir. You add in your chicken, add in the rice, mm -hmm. and then... Boom. Mm. This is real flavorful. Go. It's a delicious uh, meal. Oh, wow. And budget friendly. This comes out to less than $4 really? per wow. meal for Those five servings. So yeah, inexpensive. and then rice is inexpensive too. Mm. So all what kind of mushrooms together, did you use there? These are cremini mushrooms, okay. but you can use a portobello mm -hmm. mushroom. Oh I mean, the higher you go in the mushrooms, the more you're going to inflate that right. budget. But again, this is super easy to make. This is and really good. You, mm -hmm. you like it? In so many families, including my own, the kids like chicken and they like rice. And right. so as a mom, mm -hmm. it gets boring, mm -hmm. quite frankly, to cook. Yeah. 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 I've never tried tarragon. Yeah. Oh. And you could use it's any kind of, protein on it. You can use protein. So you can use um, beef. You can use shrimp. Shrimp is oh, really oh. good with this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I love Salmon. shrimp. Hey, Kevin, this is so easy. Chanel mm -hmm. Jones could make this. Chanel, I know. Yeah. We, I'm telling you, like maybe twice a week, my kids are asking for chicken thighs and rice. Yes. Like, that's right. what they eat. Well, that's when Chanel I come back food. next time, I'm going to have you cook then, Chanel. No, no, no. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. Yes. Well, you cook next time. <laughs> like, no, I know. My, my grandmother is yelling at the TV every time Craig says that. She knows I genetically know how to cook. I just don't enjoy it. Don't, we need we yeah. need a segment just for her to, no, to no, learn nobody, how to cook. Thank you, Kevin. That. Get out of my screen. Kevin, thank you. <laughs> All right. For so even more dinner it. ideas, That's check it. out today.com slash today table. Also find all the ingredients in this recipe from our sponsor, Walmart, by scanning the QR code. Just so you know, today does earn a commission from purchases made through the QR code or links on today.com. Sorry you had to see thank that, you. Kevin. No, we will be so right back. I love it. It is family. Life. Oh. We are back with Today Food and a special guest, Yasmin Farr, just released her second cookbook. It's called Boards and Spreads, and it's filled with easy recipes that are perfect for back-to-school season, from meals to snacks, even drinks. This book has everything you need to know <laughs> about serving a communal spread. Yasmin, welcome. Thank you for having me. That seems to be the trend now. I think a lot of us are trying to do that. Sit down together as a family or when you're yeah. inviting neighbors over. You want to spread. Exactly. And this book takes that easy serving style of like um, charcuterie and cheese boards, but applies it to like everyday meals. I love it. You know, All right. Yeah. So what are we cooking today? Okay. So we're making these crispy chicken cutlets. So okay. we have um, some Greek yogurt. Okay. So I'm just going to add... 
some Dijon mustard. So this is like a yogurt marinade. Exactly. What so do you think makes a good chicken. yogurt marinade? Is there a secret to it? Um, well, I think here we add some salt in. Actually, do you want to mix this for sure. me and then I'll do I'll the do other it. part? Okay. Um, I'll mix the marinade. Yeah, it really coats the chicken okay. um, prevents it from drying out and keeps it juicy and tender, which okay. we really want. Okay. So here we're doing the um, herb mixture, which is parsley, parmesan, Red pepper flakes. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Yes, go ahead. So when I go to the store and I try to do this recipe on my own, I'll see a billion different kinds of yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's fair, it's fair. Do you have a favorite or is there something you recommend? Um, yeah, so I use Greek yogurt here, like Greek full yogurt. fat, which I like, but you could use skier as well. Okay. Um, yes. Easy peasy. Okay. All right, what's next? So we're gonna mix, well actually, if you wanna take the chicken cutlet and okay. dip it in there, how do you feel about that? Okay, I just washed my hands, thankfully, because I was playing with my little new friends. Oh here. my god, I saw the puppy. I know, I know, so I know. Cute. So from pets to cooking. Yummy, yummy. Yep. So normally we salt and um, pepper them, but this is fine. Okay. And oh. this isn't too much? Nope, that's great. Really? Kind of shake off the excess. Yeah, okay. you can wipe off exactly. Okay. And then you're going to bring it um, in here. Okay. And you know what I was reading? Sometimes mm -hmm. a lot of people are using their air fryers a lot more. They are. Is this something it's you very could do popular. with this recipe or no? Um, yeah, you know, you definitely could. Yeah. Um, but here instead, we're just going to put it. Um, on like an oiled sheet pan, we're just gonna bake it in the okay. oven. Pretty easy. So easy, yeah. You can do this while the oven preheats. So we cook it for 15 minutes to 425. Okay. Um, and then at the end, we flip it over because we want to get like um, a really golden brown crust like on crispy. the top. Exactly, because we're baking, we're not frying. So okay. we just boil it for like two minutes and it's like crunchy and delicious. Yes, yeah, can I tell you something? Please do. I just looked over to my left at the team. Oh, and they're, they're like, eating. how is it? They quiet are chowing so I know, I was like, you're like <laughs> cutlery going. Like, I, I like trying, and it's like, ooh, did you try this? Ooh, that's the thing well, about the, Exactly. Exa that's the whole all of fun it. of it. Now, get to this, chim is it chimichurri? Is it like a chimichurri you made it's here? It's like an herby green sauce. It's so uh, great. Yeah, got the chickens of that. All right, so what's this next piece? Okay, so this is, yeah, we'll just move over. This is the cabbage slaw, so it's like crunchy and acidic. So we're adding some. Um, dill. How's the cabbage slaw, guys? Oh, it's delicious. Have you gotten there yet? I, I mean, they're literally there. like right cucumbers. I know, I love it. Cucumber, uh, salt, apple cider vinegar. Oh, very fresh. A looking plate here. Which yep, is and then olive oil. And what oil. is that, olive oil? Yep. So pretty simple. So simple. And you just let it marinate for about 15 minutes. So okay. it like, soaks up the flavors. Okay. Um, but this is a salad that I just make and leave in the fridge and snack on all week because it's like crunchy, acidic, cooling. Right. So it's great for like hot days like yeah. this. So here's yeah. my question if I want to do this. You know what? My kids and Dylan and I have talked about this. They don't love leftovers. I'm trying, but I feel like sometimes I cook too much. So can, I, obviously you can adjust the, the, the portion yeah. sizes when you do something like this, right? Yeah, definitely. And that's the beauty of it. Like okay. for us, like a family, you can make a small amount, but if you're having more people, you make like more dips, more spreads. I love and it. And kind of make it larger. Mm -hmm. And what's the tip for it? See how presentable it looks. Do I yeah. get the, the actual, you know, the board and the bowls and all the yes stuff. i actually really think the bowls are the secret of it because really like, everything looks prettier and like more I fun when you does. put a bowl so if you get like a collection of fun ones like they don't have to be expensive yeah but put everything in there I mean, like how much better does ketchup i was just yeah. i know i was just Very about pretty. to say like, normally we just bring the ketchup like, right you know, thing which out is fine too but cute. like ketchup looks cute and, like, and then what about do you say that about is ketchup this it's better. Yeah. it is incredible like so good you made that was yeah it's like jalapeno and scallions and spices but it's so easy you just like chop it up put it in a bowl and then you can put it on like the chicken, on the green beans, um, on a sandwich, so on I a tried salmon. The yeah. So yeah. good. Mustard. And yeah, it's super simple to do. You did it this all. Is so pretty. And here's oh, the yeah, thing. let's make our plate. And it took pretty, it, took, it was pretty quick. Oh, right? thank you. Simple, easy to Yeah. Okay. And you could have us on the table in about 20, 25 minutes. Not which bad. Is and the presentation makes it look like you were just in the kitchen all day. By exactly. the way, if you want to find this recipe and more of her recipes, mm. just go to today.com slash food. And for more mm. on her book, Boards and Spreads, just head over to today.com slash shop. Oh, guys, well, I'm going to eat while you guys talk. We're so happy yeah. and we're eating so much that I'm buying you some time to Thank swallow you. your bite. Oh, yeah, please, like, before you move good. on to your next, I did Dylan. Green yeah, and try this out. It's just, and it was just yeah. It's all so good. It's so oh, good. good. I'm so all right, glad. Really good. I'll stop for a moment. Okay. And we've got some birthdays to celebrate. So let's get right to it and spin around that Smucker's jar. We have a happy 100th birthday to wish to Marilyn Drazen, a fashionable lady from Lake Worth, Florida. She's always dressed to impress and never forgets her favorite pair of heels. It's hard to do. Next, we have Aura Davis of Forestville, Maryland. This world traveler is also 100 years old. She retired from the Department of Treasury as an accountant. Awesome. Happy 100th birthday to Woody Campbell, a crossword puzzle whiz from Dayton, Ohio. He reads one book every day. Wow. wow. <laughs> Edith Harper of Bayside, New York is 100 years old. She says the secret to longevity is being kind to one another. Here, here. More. 
Sorry. Oh, Still really? eating. Really? Still eating. <laughs> Morris Cohen is from Rockville, Maryland. This retired dentist is 100 years old. He's been married to the love of his life for more than 60 years. And speaking of love, happy 75th wedding anniversary to Bill and Iris Oliphant of Austin, Texas. When it comes to the secret of a long and happy marriage, Iris says it's making sure you laugh together. Bill says it's doing whatever Iris tells him to do. So, good, good advice Iris. there. Smart. Yes. Smart. <laughs> And be sure so to stick good. around for all. It's so, Willie's trying to play. Oh <laughs> Moving in for round two.